Scientists' new discovery of underground cities in Antarctica is a fascinating development in the field of archaeology and exploration. These cities, which have been hidden beneath the ice for thousands of years, have recently been uncovered by scientists and researchers. But how is this possible? What was the environment when these civilizations lived in the Antarctic? The first reports of this discovery began to emerge in early 2023. The cities were discovered by a team of researchers from the University of Cambridge, who were conducting a study on the effects of climate change in the ice shelves of Antarctica. The team used ground-penetrating radar to scan the ice and discovered a network of tunnels and chambers beneath the surface. As the researchers continued to investigate, they found that the underground cities were not natural formations, but were, in fact, man-made. The cities were constructed from a type of volcanic rock that is not native to Antarctica and is not found anywhere on the continent. This suggests that the cities were built by an advanced civilization that had the technology to transport and work with such materials. The cities themselves are vast and sprawling, with tunnels stretching for miles beneath the surface. The chambers are large enough to accommodate thousands of people and are equipped with ventilation systems, lighting and even heating. The researchers also discovered evidence of agriculture and animal husbandry, suggesting that the inhabitants of the cities were self-sufficient. This discovery of underground cities in Antarctica has raised many questions about the history of the continent. It is believed that Antarctica was once a much warmer and more hospitable place, and that the cities were built during a time when the climate was more favorable. Some experts believe that the cities were built by an ancient civilization that was wiped out by a catastrophic event possibly a natural disaster or a war. It is important to note that other discoveries of artifacts in Antarctica have shed more light on civilizations that thrived on the continent. The first discovery of an artifact in Antarctica was made in 1820 by a Russian expedition. The Russian expedition, led by Fabian Gottlieb von Bellenschausen, was on a mission to explore the Southern Oceans and was the first to sight the Antarctic continent. During the expedition, the crew came across a large piece of ivory, which they believed to be from an elephant. The ivory was discovered on the shore of a small island off the coast of Antarctica, which was later named Elephant Island in honor of the discovery. The discovery has marked the first recorded instance of human contact with Antarctica, and it opened the door for further exploration of the continent. However, it was not until the 20th century that more significant discoveries were made. In 1928, an American expedition led by Richard E. Byrd discovered a series of ancient ruins that were believed to be more than 4,000 years old. The expedition, which was funded by the American Museum of Natural History, was sent to explore the vast uncharted region of Antarctica. This was a dangerous and challenging mission, as the harsh weather conditions and treacherous terrain posed many obstacles to the explorers. Despite these difficulties, Byrd and his team were determined to push forward and uncover the secrets of this remote region. As they traversed through the icy landscape, the team came across a series of unusual structures that resembled ancient ruins. These structures were made of large, intricately carved stones and appeared to be the remains of a long-lost civilization. The team was amazed by what they had discovered and immediately began to study the ruins in detail. Through their research, the team discovered that the ruins were more than 4,000 years old and were likely the remains of a highly advanced society. The structures were aligned with astronomical events indicating that the society had a deep understanding of astronomy and mathematics. The team also found evidence of advanced engineering techniques, such as the use of metal alloys and advanced stone cutting tools. The discovery of these ruins was groundbreaking, as it challenged the commonly held belief that Antarctica was a barren, uninhabitable wasteland. Over the years, there have been many theories about the ancient society that built these ruins. Some have speculated that they were part of a lost civilization while others have suggested they were built by extraterrestrial beings. Despite these theories, the true origins of these ruins remain a mystery, and they continue to fascinate and intrigue scientists and explorers alike. Since then, there have been a number of other discoveries that suggest that various civilizations may have once lived on Antarctica. A group of geologists discovered structures beneath the Antarctic ice sheet in 1961 that seemed to have been made by humans and were estimated to be around 2,000 years old, which posed a challenge to the conventional knowledge of human history. This finding generated a commotion among the scientific community, as some initially believed that the structures might have been constructed by the ancient Greeks or Romans. The discovery was made during an expedition to Antarctica led by the Australian geologist Philip Law. While conducting a survey of the area, 
the team noticed unusual radar readings that suggested the presence of man-made structures beneath the ice. They decided to investigate further, using drills and other equipment to excavate the area. To their amazement, the team discovered a series of structures that appeared to be made of metal and stone. The structures were arranged in a pattern that resembled a city, complete with streets and buildings. Some of the buildings were massive, with towering columns and ornate carvings. At the time, the discovery was considered to be groundbreaking. The structures were estimated to be around 2,000 years old, which would place their construction around the time of the ancient Greeks and Romans. This led some experts to speculate that the structures may have been built by these civilizations, who may have had the technology and resources to travel to Antarctica. With that, in 1979, another team of researchers discovered what appeared to be a pyramid on Antarctica. This pyramid was estimated to be around 19,000 years old and was thought to have been built by an unknown civilization. The pyramid was said to be similar in design to those found in Mexico and Central America. This is particularly intriguing because it suggests that there may have been some sort of connection between these civilizations, despite the vast distances between them. It is possible that these civilizations were somehow linked through trade or other forms of interaction, which could have influenced their architecture and culture. The age of the pyramid is also significant. At 19,000 years old, it predates many of the known civilizations that existed in the region. This raises questions about who built the pyramid and what their motivations were. It is possible that the builders of the pyramid were part of a prehistoric civilization that has been lost to history. If this is the case, then the discovery of the pyramid could provide valuable insights into the development of human civilization and could help us to understand how societies have evolved over time. It is worth noting that back in 2016, satellite images captured an intriguing structure emerging from the ice, which some researchers speculate could be a pyramid made by humans. Experts have reported that there have been recent sightings of large pyramids in Antarctica, which resemble those found in Egypt, but are much larger. One of the pyramids even has a perfectly square base that measures two kilometers in each direction. This discovery raises the possibility that our ancestors may have reached and possibly inhabited Antarctica. Furthermore, a team of researchers made a discovery in 1995 that involved peculiar structures on Antarctica, which were unparalleled to anything they had seen before. These structures were composed of a type of rock that was not indigenous to Antarctica, and they were estimated to be around 100,000 years old. According to some researchers, these structures might have been constructed by an advanced civilization that exceeded the capabilities of any known civilization at the time. One of the most striking aspects of these structures was the fact that they were made of a type of rock that was not native to Antarctica. This led many researchers to conclude that the structures must have been created by an advanced civilization with the ability to transport materials from other parts of the world. In addition to the strange materials used in their construction, the structures themselves were unlike anything they had ever seen before. They were intricate and complex, with intricate patterns and designs etched into the rock. Some even appeared to be orientated towards specific astronomical alignments, suggesting that they may have served a religious or spiritual purpose. Moreover, Joe Rogan has delved deeply into Antarctica and its potential past because he has a keen interest in uncovering Earth secrets, particularly those regarding ancient civilizations. When Joe Rogan and Graham Hancock discussed Antarctica lost civilizations, they described it as one of the most unusual locations on the planet. Since its discovery, Antarctica has been shrouded in mystery. The fact that it appeared on a map drawn in the 1500s, based on even older maps, when nobody had any knowledge of its existence, raises many questions. In their conversation, they suggested that this could be a result of the remnants of a lost civilization that has left its mark on the continent. In an episode of his podcast, he interviewed Michael Saller, a former university professor who has written extensively about extraterrestrial life and government cover-ups. Saller has claimed that there is evidence of a hidden civilization in Antarctica that was destroyed by a catastrophic event thousands of years ago. While these claims may seem outlandish, there is some evidence to support them. In recent years, Satellite images of Antarctica have revealed unusual patterns on the ice that some researchers believe could be the remains of an ancient city. Additionally, there have been reports of mysterious artifacts found on the continent, including a possible pyramid and a metallic object that some have speculated could be a UFO. 
Despite the potential for groundbreaking discoveries in Antarctica, the continent remains largely inaccessible to the general public, and it seems there are still many discoveries to be made in the future. That's it for today. Subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell 